these triarii, you'll see that the camera pans directly to a unit if you double left click on it. If you use it. Yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J. Today we're hopping into Rome Total War, which I think is a real-time strategy. This is yet another one I haven't looked up ahead of time, although I feel like uh, just from the title and opening I get a sense. I mean, Rome was all about military conquest. It would make sense for this to be a strategy game. I mean, this isn't going to be like, uh, you know, a... I don't know, puzzle game. I don't know why puzzle game is my go-to, like, random genre, but... Okay, it's not going to be a life simulator. How about that? Um, although, that would be kind of cool. Making your way in the Roman Empire, starting as a serf, ending as a lord. Do they have lords? Centurions, I guess? Like, or those are army guys, like these guys. Or maybe these are hoplites. Um, what's, what's, like, a Roman king? Like, a, a Caesar? Well, that was a dude. Oh, Emperor, that's it. <laughs> I was like, surely oh, those are elaborate pants. Look at these pants these guys have on. Those are battle pants right there. Um, starting as a serf, ending as an emperor. There you go. Learning how to build towers that will actually survive and not just collapse due to poor craftsmanship. All right, so this, this opening is giving me a taste of what's to come. Looks like a lot of tactical battles. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Sort of the Roman tank. Every man is a piece of uh, armor and like they all hold up their shield and they make like a giant militarized unit. That's actually a piece of Roman war technology you don't always see. I mean, it's portrayed not too infrequently. Whoa, look at these guys' pants. The pants on these guys are insane. I'm so excited to pick some elaborate pants and go into battle. Um, but the whole sort of having a whole group of people move as one unit was really a fascinating invention of Rome and really, I think, helped them conquer a lot of others. You know, it showed the power of working in a team. Also, if you can train elephants to do your warring, then uh, things are going to go well for you. All right, so Rome Total War. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just play this game. Gaming J. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's play. Um, all right, so prologue, play a tutorial intro mission, or the Imperial Campaign or Custom Battle. Um, let's check out the tutorial real quick. You're a new leader of a young upcoming noble patrician family. You've been given a military command by the Senate, people of Rome, rebel the barbarian attack. All right, let's do this. The year is... Worthless barbarians are coming to attack my civilization. I don't need no backstory. Oh my god, there's cheetah men. Look. These guys have the faces of cheetah. I am Victoria, your advisor. Hello. I'll be your guide through the world of Rome, total war. Follow my instructions and you will learn everything. I like how there's an X to, like, cut her off before she's even done talking. This is the area around Rome. Parts of the map you have not yet explored are shrouded in darkness. As you move your armies further afield, cities, armies, and the lay of the land... Okay. Fog of War. This is Rome, the eternal city of the Seven Hills, home of the Senate and the people of Rome. At this stage, there is no empire, just Rome, with the Senate ruling and a few great families. Okay. You play the Julii, one of Rome's... An army of Gauls is approaching from the north, and the Senate <gasps> have sent an army under Captain Decius to intercept them. Gauls. For assistance. Normally, each faction makes its moves in turn, but I'll move your army for you to get us to the battle. Oh, well, I guess. Thank you. Though I could have done it myself. All right now, battle ensues. All right? Um, hello? Battle is about to commence. <laughs> okay. Rome from the Barbarian Horde. All right. Worthless barbarians are here. This game actually looks more like civilization than I was thinking. I thought it would just be battles. But uh, it seems as though there's going to be sort of a city managing component to this. So it could be interesting. Ave, General. I am Marcus, trusted centurion and military advisor to your family. Okay, I don't need your whole backstory, dude. Field. Your view starts by facing to the north with armies deploying according to the locations they occupied on the 
Okay. The Senate army joined battle from the southwest of the bridge. The invading Gaul army started in the northwest, so it starts. The Gauls are beginning an attack. Let's take a closer look at the action. All right. This is the acting commander of the Senate's legions, Captain Decius. He's a junior member of the Senate's faction. Units, march! All right, and he's leading my guys to war, eh? They really want you to savor this. The strength of a Roman army lies in its disciplined legions. Okay. Can I actually do something, or do I just sort of watch the war and hope it goes well? Barbarian armies rely on brute force, strength of will, and an all-out charge to batter their enemies into submission. Once broken, they are easily crushed. All right. The Senate has promised a reward to the soldiers who bring them the head of the Gaulish warlord, Dumnorix. Warlords? These guys are like orcs, is what you're telling me. I love killing me some orcs. An arrow over here was this dude. Okay. A lot of just watching what's going on. I'm like desperately trying to issue orders. I'm like, hey, you guys, come over here. Attack these gullish skirmishers. Look at the pants they're wearing. My guys don't even have pants. Wait, what's going on? We're in a series of very attractive battle gowns. I hope we're wearing underwear. Army has summoned the will to engage just yet. Skirmishing could go on for a while. This is a good chance to show you how easy it is to. Okay. Jeez, my guys are like far away. Jesus, man, they're on like the, the, the ass end of the universe here. Julius. These guys clearly didn't really want to fight. Pain map and commander in the. You can rotate your camera view by pushing your mouse cursor to the edges of the screen, or hold down left click on the ground and use your left or right cursor keys to rotate around the cursor. Your cursor keys move the camera left, right, forwards, and backwards. Try this now. All right. To select your general's cavalry unit, left click on the unit card or left click on the actual unit. If you can't see your unit, double left click on the unit card to move your view to that unit. I got him. When you're ready, right click on the area of the battle while a selected unit is moving. You can use the movement toggle button to change your unit speed. So here's like a minor quibble. They want you to use the arrow keys to scroll around the map and your right hand's on the mouse. Why can't I use W, A, S, and D? And why can't I use Q and E to rotate? You know, it's like simple stuff like that, I feel like, are minor things a developer overlooked, but it's like those are tiny quality of life things that if you do, I feel like it just makes your game so much more pleasant to play. Like, the, the interface isn't bad by any stretch, but it's like, intuitively, if one if my right hand's on the mouse, I want my left hand over near WASD, I don't want them near the arrow keys, you know? Just not what I want to do. Um, anyway, these guys are moving super slow. Can I get them to go faster? There they go. Double click. Rush to this area. These dudes are just having a staring contest over here. Get over here quickly. We must fight the barbarians. Card indicated. These triaria. You'll see that the camera pans directly to a unit if you double left click on it. If you use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Has attracted the attention of the enemy cavalry, and they're coming this way. Oh no! They're the red pigs or something like that, or the red warthogs. Did you see their battle banner? It was actually pretty badass. Cavalry attacks. Protect them by moving your triarii spearmen in front of them. But I just move everybody over there. One of the best weapons against cavalry. Wait, what's the best weapon against cavalry? Attack! I don't care. This is going to send everyone to attack. How about that? Rush into battle. This can only go positively. I guess when I'm firing arrows and my own dudes are in there, that's bad, but... Fight! Oh, and here come my cavalry. Oh, look at this. Look at this fracas in here. Oh, my God. 
units unless all enemy units on the battlefield are routing. Oh, look, they're running. Just tie your troops and leave your other forces vulnerable. Use the halt button to stop a unit. All right, we can tell them to hold. Hold! All right, I pretty much get it. How about we uh, just go in and slaughter these guys? I've noticed that we are moving to the bridge. Archers. Guard this end with your triarii. Place your archers behind them. Use right double click to get your troops there quickly. So we want if they cross the river. to protect the bridge from the barbarian hordes. You kill these guys already. These archers do not have very awesome pants at all. Barbarians. Also, why why are none of the barbarians wearing shirts or shoes? They want service in this world. You got to smarten up, guys. As it will tire your troops. You can use the Hey, don't tire out your troops, blah, 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 blah. My troops live to be tired out, man. Units, it can be a good idea to select them all at once when giving them orders. Units acting together can be more effective than on their own. Use Control A to select all your units. You can use the return key to deselect units. Oh, all right, that's handy, I guess. I was like, is anyone going to stop these guys that are running over the bridge here? Where are my archers? Oh, there they are. Firing indiscriminately into a crowd of friend and foe. Ramsey Bolton style. Also, Edward Longshanks, for those of, uh, those of you old enough to have seen Braveheart and not just... No, it is a historical document that your grandpa watched. Drag the selection box around a group of your... Don't worry, I'm not making fun of you if you know what Braveheart is. I loved Braveheart. As a teen. <laughs> uh, get across that river and kill the remaining enemy. Don't mind, you don't have to tell me twice. You can do this at any time during a battle by clicking on the pause button. Oh, you can pause the game to issue orders. All right. How about we go triple game speed, though? Because we're impatient. Move your triarii spearmen to the left flank of the enemy. Use your archers and general as close support in crossing a bridge and when moving troops around on the path, the barbarians have started a full-scale attack. Oh no, full-scale attack. Okay, hold on. Let me pause the game. Pause. We need a quick key for this. P. And then normal game speed. All right, so these are the dudes. These are these dudes. And the, I mean... <laughs> I'm like, what are my tactics going to be? How about everybody attack? And pause. Oh, and then go to normal game speed. There we go. And I'm pretty sure they just got wiped out instantly. Anyone left over here? Go to... Is there a hotkey for this? Triple speed? No, really. I think everyone's dead. I think we got them. Everybody run over this way. Is there anyone left? I think we did it. Get him! Nobody retreats on my watch. Look at these guys. Look at these jokers. You tell them. You tell them what happens when you mess with Game and Jay. Right, anybody else want to tango? Is there anyone left on the battlefield? Oh, there was some dudes over there. Didn't even help out my ally. Well, those are bad guys right over there. This is a heroic. I feel like it goes like fast and slow, fast and slow. Kind of weird. Maybe my computer can't handle the awesomeness that is Rome Total War. A bad piece is even worse than war. Tacitus. Now you've learned the basics of the battlefield, I'm going to show you how to play on the campaign map. Battles right. last just a day, but building an empire takes time. 
On the campaign map, time is divided into turns, each lasting six months. Six months? And battles last a day? Your army, you will see that the Senate has rewarded you with some military units. These will go some way to helping you expand your power. You have also received a special payment to help pay for the campaign you have just fought. All right. Good. The battles on the campaign map are similar to the battlefield. Left-click selects things, and right-click moves them. If you want to look around the map, use the up, down, left, and right cursor keys, or just push your mouse cursor to the edges of the screen. Double-clicking on most things opens up a scroll with more details. The first time you see any scroll, I'll tell you what it's all about, but if you forget, you can always click on the question mark in the top right of a scroll. Don't forget right. now, as I have some more important things to tell you. You have selected your army. You'll notice that as soon as you do this, the panel at the bottom of the screen fills with unit cards. Your general, Gaius Julius, gets a card of his own for him and his bodyguard. Use right-click to move all your units to the edge of the green movement area. Try moving where the arrow is pointing. The edge of the green area is the furthest point you can move to from your current position in one turn. Selecting an area beyond this will require more than one turn of movement. Okay. Remember, when moving your armies around the map, it is best to do so in force. Moving your forces around in very small armies or as individual units leaves them very vulnerable to attack. Keep your units grouped together. I mean, that makes sense. I don't know if you had to tell me that one. The screen gives details on whatever you have selected and has buttons that bring up a variety of scrolls. <laughs> you may also have noticed that when you hold the mouse pointer over things, a handy tooltip pops up telling you what it is. You can look at these later by yourself in more detail, but for now, I'll explain what each button does. It's like going to school, man. Jeez. It allows you to see territories owned by factions you have contact with at a glance. It also shows your own territories. At present, there is little to show, but I'm confident it will get busy later on. This displays your currently selected character or settlement. From here, you can cycle through all your characters, armies, and settlements with the arrows to the side. Open an information scroll for a selected character or settlement by double left clicking on the related item on the campaign map. Orders, General. Orders. Okay. Controlling. I think I skipped one. This shows the current season and lets you know if you are going to be fighting in summer or winter. This is important when you are fighting in the frozen north or in the arid deserts where bad weather can win or lose a battle. Okay. Sir! This is the end turn button. When you decide you have... Now my turn's over. <laughs> it is now a new campaign turn. You will see that the money in your treasury is going down. In fact, you are borrowing from money lenders. This is because you are paying wages to your army but have no income. You will need to capture a settlement to give you an income. Hmm. Okay. Money is essential to build settlements or troops. The circle button on the control panel is where you can see a summary of your empire's income and expenditure for the turn. At the moment, you have no empire, so there's not much to see there other than the ongoing expense of maintaining your army. Senate mission assigned. Take settlement Tarkini. Slide down the left side of your screen. These are messages detailing important events that have occurred. It is important to read them as and when they appear. You can left click on a message to open it. Right click will dismiss it. You might notice a button in the bottom left corner of these scrolls. This will focus your view on the subject of the message. Okay. The Senate mission to capture Tarquinii gives you a chance to earn a reward from the Senate and to gain a settlement which will give you an income. It's the first step towards building an empire and should solve your money problem. Yeah. To attack or siege a settlement, left-click on the army you want to attack with and then right-click on the target settlement. Depending on how far you are from Tarquinii, it may take you more than one turn to get there. If you can't get there in one turn, hit end turn after you have moved. All right. Did not move. Right -click to move your army to any part of the highlighted area. Attack. Oh, there we go. All right, blah blah blah, lady. Thanks for all the tips. But let's just go in. Lift the siege. Assault. Maintain the siege. Oh, interesting. 
Doesn't want has enough food to last for five turns. So if I just wait five turns, they might just surrender. Uh, where's the fun in that? Maybe we could. That's actually kind of interesting. Maybe we could siege them and negotiate. Um. Negotiate like terms of surrender. I like that. If that's true, that's kind of a cool sort of tactical thing. Do you, you know you might have a big army, but rarely engage in battle because like you just intimidate your foes so much. But maybe you're not really battle tested. So if somebody actually did stand up to you, your, your army would kind of suck, even though it's big. It's like inexperienced. Like you could do a lot with that. I think if you're a game designer. No, well, I mean, people designed this game, so obviously they did stuff with this idea. Anyway, start the battle. The goal here is to capture the settlement, not destroy it. Buildings destroyed on the battle ah. also be destroyed on the campaign map to capture the So we just want to kill all the enemies but leave the buildings intact and hold it. Let's go. Wooden gates. Affected units cannot attack towers. Okay, we're gonna try and breach the gates. Everyone's just moving in. Oh, wait, hold on. We want the artillery to attack the gateway. That would be the wisest course of action. Then everyone else will just move in a giant blob. Was there such a thing as a move in Roman times? You know, attack move? For generals who were, like, really lazy? You have the advantage. Get some men through the breach quickly before the enemy can defend it. Go! Rush the gates! Oh, they are now defending it. Okay, hold on. You... Destroy these walls. Everyone else is bum-rushing the gates. I wonder if we could make several holes in the wall and then have them, like, not know which one we're going to come in and spread their forces out. That would be actually kind of smart. These guys going or what? Oh, there they go. Your siege weapons have knocked through a section of the enemy. Ooh. Divert your heaviest troops to attack the breach. Without haste, the defenders will be ready and your advantage lost. Show no mercy. Um. Please select all your units. Okay, you guys going that way. You guys going this way. Arrows to rain fire and death down upon the enemy. Flaming arrows have reduced accuracy, but are more Ah Surprise! It's us the Romans! Left click the show me how button to see how to do this. Show me how. He's talking about firing air, fiery arrows or something, but I did not really have a chance to pay attention to what he was talking about. Surprise! I'm not going to attack you guys. I'm going to attack these guys. Currently using close formation. It is more. He was talking about something about close formation. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> Once we're in combat, blah blah blah. Sorry, buddy. I'm not really listening to your tips or tactics. And there's going in guns a blazing. Romans don't have tactics. We have victories. And I'm pretty sure we got this. Fleeing in panic. The enemy general is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. Wait, maybe they'll surrender and join our army. Don't kill them all. I like the Greeks. This day for votive games as true enemy is gone to his ancestor. Wait, is my name Games? <laughs> my Games the General? That's actually pretty cool. It's probably getting it from like... Is my Steam name like a thousand and one games? I don't know, actually. I thought it was like J. First name J, last name Games. That's a new one. I've been all sorts of things. J the game. Never been J Games. Uplights. Spearman from the front is a good way to kill off your cavalry units. Okay, don't do that then. Wait, what's happening here? 
thought those were like little gremlins or something. Aha! We're gonna surround ya! Then what? Useful for engaging and holding the enemy in place while you go down. Or quality units are useful for holding the enemy in place while blah blah blah. It is possible to set a light artillery ammunition to rain fire and death down upon the enemy. Flaming ammunition has reduced accuracy but is more devastating when it lands and has a greater effect on morale. Left click the show me how button. Should have clicked show me how, but I feel like we got this. A well-placed rock can kill a lot of enemy troops, but it's hard to hit anything smaller than a settlement wall with these machines. Target dense concentrations of enemy units so that you hit something even if it wasn't what you aimed at. Good tips, bro. Why is most of my army back this way? It's like they chose not to engage in combat. You guys are still out here destroying the wall, following orders to the bitter end. Come on in, guys. Oh my god, there's more guys over here. Attack these guys, too! There was an option to automatically resolve battle. I might start doing that, to be honest. I, you know, I see there's, like, lots of tactics and stuff in this combat mode, but... It just feels, like, a little slow and, like, I don't know. I'll give it another shot. I won't totally abandon it. But so far, it's not my favorite thing. So far, what I would like is... Faster engagement. That was one thing about that I always loved about uh, Blizzard games like Warcraft and Starcraft and stuff. They weren't like hyper realistic, but they had like a really good pace of gameplay. This just sort of feels a little tedious and drawn. I mean, maybe it's just because this is like an early level. I'm just chasing these guys and stuff, but I feel like the city is mine. Can I just have it already? Greek city marching. Yeah, like, who's left to conquer? <laughs> left click on graphic options Can I uh, exit the battle? And change the I will lose this battle, whatever. And I'm defeated! They defeated me. <laughs> Gaming... Uh, Centurion J.S. He was too lazy to win the battle. Moves depleted, sir. Imperator. All right. Let's end our turn. Engage the enemy! And let's see what the other options are for how to conquer this thing. Oh, he just straight up stabbed that city. Um, okay, we're going to assault, but I want to just do it automatically. Fight the battle on the map, automatically resolve the battle. They killed two of my guys, you jerks. Oh, well, it's two more soldiers I don't have to pay money to. Yay. Oh, we can extern- Jesus. Genocide people? Enslave people? Or occupy the settlement? Now, we can build a palace. But what do we want, though? Mines. To keep this settlement safe and to support your troops, you need to improve Taquinii's public order rating and your income. To do this, you must one, build a shrine to Jupiter to help keep the population happy. Two, build better roads to increase trade and troop movement speeds. Three, build at least four units of town watch to act as garrison. All right, start with the shrine and the roads, and then uh, when a governor is present in the settlement, town watch. Place you may wish to queue up building. Manual recruitment there we go. can only take place when a governor is present in a settlement. If there is no permanent governor in place, you may wish to queue up units for training. Left click on a unit to add it to the recruitment. Oh, interesting. So if you don't have a governor, you this can't like administer armies. No faction can the town. Without armies. Hmm. And this is where you build them. You need to have the money and a population to recruit from, of course. This button becomes the mercenary hire button when you have an army outside of a settlement. Mercenaries are expensive, but can be useful in emergencies when troops are needed immediately. Hmm, that's cool. Mercenaries. Okay. 
Mm, we'll just end our turn here. Get some money, some cash money. Unit recruitment completed, construction completed. Okay, it's starting to play basically like civilization. Check out our uh, city well, here. You have freed the Taquinii from tyranny. The Senate of Rome has voted to allow full citizenship to the Taquinii. Oh. Let's now develop the settlement and put business in order. This will take less time if you do not enslave or exterminate a settlement. <laughs> Pro tip, don't enslave or exterminate the general population or they'll turn against you. Let's just say they're not fans of that. Uh, all right, I like how I have my own little shadow empire here. It's a capital for just me. Um, I don't even know what I should be building. Temple of Jupiter. Didn't I already do that? Port. I don't know. We just click auto manage. Do as you will. Have at it. Gonna end some turns here and collect some moolah. Dot dot dot. You have constructed a shrine to Jupiter. The Senate are impressed with your progress. You must now take the Samnite city of Bovianum in the southeast. The Samnites have insulted the authority and dignity of Rome. Okay, so now we gotta take another town. Alright, you know what? I, I get the idea. Tutorial over. Let's uh, give this let's give this game an on one honest shot here. We'll play one custom battle. Or wait, don't exit the program. Wait, I don't want to play a custom. Oh wait, these are just battles. Oh, interesting. Oh, so you can go in. No advice. Very hard. Oh, interesting. Arcade-style battles. Battles are less realistic and more action-oriented. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, manual construction, recruitment, and tax. No. Follow AI characters. No battle time limit. Short campaign. Okay, I just want to do this on... Because this game is easily... This is sort of like the Axis and Allies of games. It seems... Uh, of historical Rome games. Seems sort of like slow and you know complex and realistic and fun, but also very slow. And I don't feel like making a four hour video here today. So we're gonna turn all the difficulties down, arcade style, auto manage everything, Let's hop in here and have ourselves a fun little campaign in the uh, summer of summer hills of Italy. I don't know. Okay, the Senate asks you to take. Segesta. Where the hell am I? Who who am I? Uh, allies. Oh, this, that, that's my territory. Apparently. Um, okay. So these... Merge our units together here. Or not. And this way... We're going to head to Segesta. What is this? Gaelic Diplomat. Prepare for battle. Oh, I have a diplomat too. Sextus. <laughs> Se Sextus the Diplomat. He's going to come to your country and he's going to get you on your knees one way or the other. Sennaculus of Sabbath. He has three horseshoes, three lucky horseshoes worth of influence. He has no retinues, and he's diplomatic. He also has four eyes, which is unusual. But he does have that killer handlebar mustache. All right, Seculus, what can you do for me, bro? I want you to go to to, to Pat Patavium. God, I can't say all these names and I don't know, figure stuff out, man. Also three lucky horseshoes. Also no retinue. He's a year older, though. He's been in this diplomat's game a little longer than the other guy. All right. Trade between our peoples bring much wealth to us all. So, let's see. Okay. Um, your acceptance shows strength of character. Now, can we... Make a new offer. 
attack a faction. Attack the rebels, whoever they are. Turn, you offer map information. <laughs> there you go. Uh, make the offer. See what they say. Oh, that's it. Okay, no, that was a terrible offer. You guys are, it was a test. You guys are wise not to take it. Um, oh my god, a suitable husband, betrothed Padilla. This guy's 16? This man is suitable addition to the family. Do you want him to marry your noble daughter and become like a son? Yeah, why not? It's, it's how you did, did it back in the day, right? You gotta play the game. Attack! Besieging settlement! Alright, so we're going to maintain the siege. And we're gonna join the siege. Two on one, baby. Yeah. Besieging settlement, sir. Yeah, I want to see what happens if we just wait three turns. Settlement under siege, sir. Meanwhile, Mr. Sex is here. Command. I shall speak with them. Heading over this way. Uh, large neutral town. Hmm, okay. Everybody does their thing. I'm just going to wait three turns. I want to see about this siege. Look at this guy just sauntering his way into Patavium. He's going to step right on in there. He's going to proclaim. Greetings. What do you have to offer us today? Uh, let's see. Demand tribute. Give me a hundred bucks every turn. Name your price of... Uh, your offers. Okay. Do it. Initiate. Leave the offer, demand blank, and find out what the opposition would give or take in return. How do I actually do this? Oops. Okay, go. We accept your well intentioned and generous offer. Read rich granted. And they're paying us a tribute. Damn, Sextus. You know how to negotiate, man. I, you seem like a joke at first, because, I mean, who could take that name seriously? But, dude, dude gets it done. All right, one more turn. And then we can see what happens over here from sieging this town. In the meantime, negotiating with another town. Maybe these guys will also pay us a tribute. Demand regular tribute. Of 200 bucks a turn. Alright, what do you got? Even if you offer it up your entrails on the altars of high scouts, we're not considered listening to such demands. Oh, really? Well, how about... Now you have to pay me a thousand... Every turn. Um, accept or we will attack. My offer has changed. Bandying empty words is just a waste of time with you now. Oh, really? Well, I'm going to cancel that trade negotiation then, buddy. Victory! Settlement has fallen. Oh, so you just wait them out, and then they're just like, ah, whatever. We'll join you. You guys have been camped at our front door long enough that we're beginning to feel some brotherly compassion with you. Let's all be on the same team. All right, well, mission accomplished, sort of. Meanwhile, we have to slay these insolent dogs. Attack the neutral faction. Oh, there are hostilities. Don't think there aren't hostilities, because there are. They refuse to pay us money. And that is something that Sextus Ant... Ant... Why do you say his name? Antio. God, it's so simple, actually. Does not put up with, man. Um, oh my god, he walks so slow. There we go. Uh, Senators, please note you've taken the settlement. You've been awarded a bounty of your efforts. 5,000 denarii. Cool. Meanwhile, our empire's raking it in or something. I don't know. I assume all those numbers are good. Let's just go to war with the neutrals, man. Settlement is rioting. It's a disgrace. The Roman law should be 
defied in such a manner. Wait, are you guys ready? Wait, we just... Guys. Come on now. I'm too busy trying to invade Medellina. Um, we can last five turns. Siege equipment. Oh, you can like build rams and stuff. That's kind of cool. Maintain the siege. Imperator, engage the enemy. All right. Speed it up and maintain the siege. And end our turn. We don't actually have to conquer anything if we can just siege down their towns long enough, I'm guessing. And hopefully Segesta gets its act together. We shall see. Oh, I got stabbed in the back. Okay, so we have 371. They have... Ooh. Somehow they managed to pull together a fighting force. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Turns out maybe my demands of retribute were a little premature, but... Reinforcements have arrived. Them's the breaks, I guess. All right, so they got a bunch of guys. They got cavalry. So apparently our troops... Light infantry... Our spearmen are good against cavalry, so I want my spearmen over here. Everyone else goes over here. Well, my archers here. These guys here. I'm actually trying to be tactical here. And my my own cavalry is going to try and like rout them. We'll see if this works. All right, where's their cavalry? Right over here. All right, start pelting them with arrows, please. Meanwhile... Okay, these guys will attack those guys. Like these guys. How do I make these guys sort of defend? Oh, stuff is happening. Attack! Okay, I don't know if directly attacking the cavalry was a good idea or not, but... Looks like we're winning this fight. Sort of. Ish. Well, those guys are getting squished. They're gonna end up in a battle sandwich. Light infantry. Yeah, hold on, where's my... Oh no, they're going for my archers! Wasn't paying attention to that. That was smart. That was smart. General flees! Press forward so the spirit of his army is broken too! Yeah, you better run. Oh god, run guys. My cavalry is looking a little worn down. Off my archers. Oh wait, who are they fighting? Oh, that's good. The enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. All right, we just defeated one army. Even though we're playing on easy, it's still a victory. Then we have a whole other army to attack. Cavalry, infantry. Okay. You guys come over like this. Take out their soul, their horses. Oh, 
Oh god, they flanked us. The gods have filled the heart of the enemy. We get him? The enemy general is dead. Oh, we slaughtered an enemy general again. Yeah, I think we're doing well. Where are our archers? It's hard to... So, the thing I find difficult about these giant battle games compared to something like Warcraft and stuff is I can't tell if my guys are winning or losing. Like, they're just all standing in a big group fighting each other. Is it good? Is it bad? Really hard to tell. I don't know. We've slaughtered a general and made one force retreat, though, so I'm pretty sure that we got this. And are these guys even firing? It's so hard to tell. Guess they are? My own guys are kind of getting wiped out, though. General flees. All right, I think we got him. Spirit of his army is broken too. Woo! Show that. Ah, we did it. We've completed our objective. Killed 730. Wow, it's like over two for one. We did lose like 80, but that's still pretty good. We got a lot of men remaining. Only the brave enjoy noble and glorious deaths. Dionysus. Pro tip from Dionysus. Alright. We did it. Diplomatic information. Falling factions are now at war with each other. Armenia and Parthia. Don't know who either of them are, but good for them. Uh, Making money and stuff. I'm not paying attention to the finances. Um, construction complete. The Gesta. New building has been constructed. Now adds dignity to a good law-abiding Roman town. The traitor. Nothing like bringing dignity to a town. All right, how we doing here? Sir. How we doing, guys? Two turns until surrender. Nice, predictable defeat of their morale. Action announcements. Senate offices assigned. Senate has finished its August deliberations and assigned the important offices of state as follows. The lowest rank of magistrate usually charged with managing treasury. All men are looking for political career in Rome. Okay, whatever. More stuff. Oops. Look at that frozen. How do we know about this city? A like diplomat at war. Another turn. Oh, they're coming to attack us again. Stabbing us in the back, eh? Jesus. I have about 500 dudes against 570 of theirs. I'm just going to do automatic. Clear victory. All right, we won. And we will enslave the population. You guys should have paid me. We're going to Thraki style. It's going to ask you to take the settlement. Caralysis. Never heard of it. Batavium is paying me, so I guess I will let them live. Meanwhile... There are no garrison units here. Oh, look at this. General, order. These guys can come up here. Completed, sir. General. Guys, come up here. I'm just going to create like a big doom force. Ambush in place. Hey, look at these guys. Orders. Attack. General. Attack. Prepare for battle. And. Well, I don't know what's going on. Okay, whatever. Bunch of 
random diplomats wandering around in their togas. Tell you, togas got to be cold in the middle of winter. Imperator, prepare for battle. Victory! Yeah, we're gonna go to battle. Gonna move through zone of control. Imperator, prepare for battle. Attack this army. And do we have any other troops? So the towns like automatically build stuff, it seems. And you can't even administer them unless you assign a magistrate or whatever. Kind of an interesting twist. I don't hate that. You gotta imagine that they would be producing lots of units, though. This one is not. There's no governor, and so it's not. Re it's really not doing anything. Should have queued stuff up before I left. Like, for instance, this one... We probably should queue a bunch of stuff up, like Jupiter and stables and a blacksmith and some sewers, maybe. And then, I don't know, recruit a bunch of these guys. Wait, get rid of that guy. There you go. All right, we did some stuff. They will be busy building dudes. Imperator. Meanwhile, I thought... Did we attack or what? We can't do that, sir. I thought there was a force there that I attacked, but I don't 100% know what happened there. All right. Zeronian of Plantia, Spain, says, um, an alliance between us would cause all our enemies to tremble in terror. I want... Um, let's see. Military access, map information. I want you to give me Asuka. And a regular tribute of 100. <laughs> this is a lot to ask for. There's no way they're going to take this. Imagine they did, though. Uh, only trusting fools would grant you the right. Okay, I, I was waiting for the reply. I thought this was going to scroll back open, but... Um, okay. I want alliance and I want a tribute. Tell me what you guys think. Oh, they don't even want that. All right. Well, you're the next Mid Midlonium. I can never find out where you guys are. I think it's they're like way over here. I mean, my feel for this game, I know we haven't really played all that much, truthfully. But, you know, oh, this is just so big. I honestly just feel overwhelmed with the amount of game there is here. I I, I don't know if I have it in me to keep going here today, you know, guys. Um, these really big games, it's like sometimes I can sit down for like a three-hour session, but sometimes it's like, I don't know, game just doesn't click. Like, do I really feel like playing a historical battle simulator? I don't know. It seems like a decent enough game. I think especially if you are interested in historical battles and tactics. It sort of feels like a, an alternate take on civilization where it's sort of emphasizing a few things differently than civilization would. Um, not bad, not good, just different. Uh, I don't dislike what I see here. Um, and again, the battles, I think... If you like sort of the, the historical style battles, it is kind of cool to have like a real-time strategy thing going on there. But yeah, I don't know. I honestly, for me today, I think I'm kind of tapped out of this one. I don't know. Like I wanted to go a little farther, but I feel like I'm just getting bored of it. <laughs> if I'm being totally honest with you. And you know what? Not even just bored. It just feels overwhelming. Like the amount of territory that I have to explore. It's like, this is huge. This is enormous. This is gigantic. The amount of progress I've made in... I've been playing this for ha this map alone for half an hour. I've taken two cities and done nothing else. Yeah, like, I, it's going to take... It would take us four hours to do this, so... This is as far as we're getting in Rome. Um, you know, seems like a decent enough game. I now really want to know what the Thousand and One book says about it. I don't always look up the descriptions, but for this one, I really want to look it up. So bear with me for a second here. Rome Total War puts more emphasis on historical details such as battle terrain and troop morale than most of its peers. It's a full strategy experience complete with research, trading, spying, army deployment, more than enough to keep 
You occupied over the campaign spanning three centuries. If you want to play without mudding your feet on the battlefield, you can. But you'd be mad to. Rome Total War saw the introduction of full 3D Total War series. Spectacular results. Greek spearmen, Carthag- Carthaginian elephants, your Roman Trialari are made real. 30,000 men can be rendered at once, making for epic encounters. The game is vast. Starting out the head of one of three families, blah, blah, blah. If you're in too deep. Or if you're after a deep strategy challenge that's made immeasurable by a near peerless tactical battle, all roads lead to war, <laughs> Rome total war. Um, yeah, again, I don't disagree with that. I, I think it's, it really does. I mean, the review itself right there sort of highlights what I'm picking up on is that this is for people who want like a detailed tactical experience. And so if you are looking for that, maybe check out Rome. But I don't know. What do you guys think of this one here today? Let me know in the comments down below if you've played this, if you have more insights into this one. Um, oh, look, you see little boats and trade routes going along. That's cool. Um, yeah, let me know if you have fond memories, tips or tricks, or like there's things you love about this game. Um, or if this is your first time seeing it, like for me, uh, d- does this game stand out? Does it look interesting? Uh, let me know that too. Uh, either way, I hope you guys did have a bit of fun here today. Hope checking this game out, just seeing it, was a little interesting for you. If it was, don't forget to like the video. And other than that, I will catch you in the next video where I promise to be more enthused about the game we play. So until then, my friends, you take care of yourselves and peace.